homeless person just walking in front. Welcome back to Santa Monica, where it's never raining. <laughs> okay, now, where were we? We have just completed a bounty for the hunter. And we have a new quest, Jumpin' the Bale. But before I attempt to begin at Jumpin' the Bale, I am going to go to the asylum and talk to Therese Vermin about this feud that she has with Bertram Tung. See if they can call it off, because I need to talk to Bertram Tung. He's the only person who can get me to this warehouse that I need to uh, blow up with the astrolite. Anyway, so that's where I'm going to go now. Skies are all rotten and the storm is our death sentence! Mm-hmm. The asylum. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? I see before me a beauty who shares the madness of my mind. What? Oh my, a Malkavian. This ought to be absolutely delicious. Two minds as crazy as ours, and who knows just what might happen. Greetings, daughter of Janus. <laughs> oh, but you've got it bad, little girl. Not sure exactly what is real and what isn't. Janus, let's see. Isn't that a two-faced Roman god? Of course, you're right. You just happened to meet the prettier face first. You are the whiteness? She of alabaster and ivory. <laughs> Wait until Therese hears that. I am white to her black. She'll be absolutely furious. Of course, I won't be wearing white to any weddings, but we could talk about that later. Fear and love are two signs of the same coin. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. You mean we're both rolled up and twisted? When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. Burn, baby, burn. Give me the pleasure of your label. I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. My heart beats like a thousand primal drums. Give me the gift of your name. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite sweet and soon, I promise. Until our shattered selves once again collide. Where's Therese? Oh, brother. What can I get you, beautiful? I seek the daughters of Janus. Janus? What the hell are you talking about? Damn, I always get the weird ones. The sisters, sport of the two, spawned of the two-headed god. Huh? Look, the only sisters around here are Therese and Jeanette, and they own the place. They're both upstairs, fighting as usual. Why do you need to see them? I'm a dancer. Jeanette needs to check the color of my thong. Damn, I wish it was my job. Go on up and see her. Take the elevator over there. This watering hole is well kept. Farewell. What are you looking at? Um... Did you know that there was weather outside? Um, I just remembered, I'm not gay. <laughs> you 
know what? Let's dance. Come on, everyone. Shake that booty. Always so dead. Death is only a sweet beginning, my lovely. Ooh, that was an interesting thing to say. What are you, some kind of barroom philosopher, or is that your idea of girl talk? Philosophy, philanderings. Is there a difference, my sweet? Right. Goodbye. This place for lots. Fine. I know you. Hey, girl. Golden Ghoul. What say you? Yeah, not much. I'm just waiting around for my master. The nasty dude. You would not speak of. Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh man, his name's Bertram Tongue. He's a Nosferatu. Ah, I too seek the nasty dude. Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know. I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I. Whenever he needs me, just, you know, appears! Hmm. Tell me of the nasty dude. Oh man! Well, he's like the only vampire I know, but, well, he seems pretty damn powerful. Oh man! Well, when he's looking at you, it's like he's really spinning your brain, you know? It's like trippy, it's crazy! Oh man! But I guess that's the Nosferatu thing, you know? <laughs> they, like, know everything, I, I guess. Hmm. How does the nasty dude contact you? It's crazy! He just appears out of, like, thin air. The first time he appeared, BAM! Like to give me a goddamn heart attack! <laughs> oh, man. Especially how he looks. Blah! <laughs> hmm. Why did the nasty one select you when he first appeared? Bertram says he's needed someone to do some things. Oh man, he'd been watching me work as a bounty hunter for a while, and bam, he picked me! Oh man, it's so cool. It's like a job promotion, only I get to, like, live forever and stuff. What nasty things are you doing for him? Oh man, wow. Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire, or something like a vampire, I don't know. A life eater from across the sea. Life eater? Damn! I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Is that vampire for a scary ass Asian dude that can probably kick my ass? Oh man! It's like that's what I think he is. Tell me more of this creature. Oh man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me. You know. I see this guy appear around me all the time, like off in the distance watching me, he'll warp up next to me. Oh man, then oh, disappear. Hmm. 
The truth does not match the words that fall from her mouth. Oh, what are you saying? Truth to your words be made. How did you know? Ah, uh, look. Oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh? Anyway, why should I tell you anything, huh? You're not being straight with me. But we are. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. Damn. Man, all right, look. I messed up, okay? I'm just doing what I was told, though. Onward to speak. Bertram knew you were coming. Knew you'd come by here. He planted me and told me what to say about the Asian thing, but it's true. I swear. And everything else is true, too. This Asian guy needs to be taken out. Well, you can't do it. So Bertram needs you to. Hmm. To me, direct, the Shadow Lurker could have asked. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he can't stick his neck out like that. He doesn't deal directly. His way, I guess. So can you do. Okay, then the deed will be done by my hand. Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Does not this license tell the tale of his location? No. The picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but, well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it. I'll rain blood down on this eastern nightmare. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, man. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Hmm. Farewell, golden ghoul. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up bitch. So vulgar. I can't even look at you sometimes. Jezebel. Oh, Cherie, you really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted house concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Did I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Hmm. Okay. Because they don't get along. Okay, that must be Janice. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Are you Therese, dark daughter of Janice? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Call off your conflict with the worm, dark one. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Okay. I don't want to meddle with your madness. Just make a wormy piece. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Hmm. Speak your quest, Dark One. 
Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Hmm. If you will give word to the worm that he is not wanted, I will go. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Okay, then I am off to the house on the ocean. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. I will do what needs to be done, Dark One. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Hmm. Then I am off to the house on the ocean. Rock me, Amadeus. Okay, I guess that's all I can do here for now. I guess we have to find this uh, Asian vampire. That it? California driver's license. Name of the license is Virgil Crumb. Crumbs. This is all I've got to go by. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if um, Arthur Kilpatrick's crime pewter. We'll have anything on this guy. Mr. Virgil Crumb. Spring is the pungent sewage of hell. Seeping into the... Okay, we A to F. Crumb. V. Digital Crumb, bond written on the 25th of March, 2002. Two counts of public disturbance, drunk and nudity. Case 766141, bond amount 5,000. Type of bond, cash, paid in full. Notes, local. Void, subject's corpse identified. Being held at Medical Clinic Morgue. Author authorities notifying next to kin. So the guy's dead. Is it in the medical clinic morgue? Well, I know where that is. Why would it be easy to find? I like nice easy quests. Don't you start, mate. Where one of these nights I'm going to bite your head off. And instead of yelling, I'll just make gurgling noises. Okay, now the morgue. Um, don't know if I can get it to it from here. It was downstairs, wasn't it? Is a 
the back of the um, through the laundry. Before. I don't mind if I just squat down on you. Interesting. So, so no other other information. Ah, well, this wasn't here before. Foxy Box's key. Clues relating to the ancient vampire. Okay. Foxy boxes. Well, I know where Foxy boxes is. Um, I might quickly make a stop at Tripp's Pool Shop. I've got a few things to sell now. Keep picking up rings. Rings and rings of magical things. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Um, how much gold for your goods? I. Right. Here's what we got today. Okay, you can have the tire iron. Hmm, can't sell the severed arm. Okay, got some rings to sell. A gold ring, a silver ring. Oh, two silver rings. Uh, I can't sell the bubble bum, can I? Or the steak. Ah, do you want a book? Here, yeah, have a book. Now, I have enough money for some new duds. Heavy clothing. Cool beans. Now. Where are they? Ah, there we go. Cool. Now I've got an armor rating of one. It's better than zero. Get a foxy boxes. Be walking into a trap here. Okay. Foxy boxes. Temple of Golden Virtue. Progress reports. Okay. Canite observation. Do I have to type in the whole thing, do I? These are recent. Report 1. My initial observations of the city indicate that the Canites here are both scattered and unorganized. 
there are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall continue to watch and listen. Okay. For two, these canines are a curious and fragile race. They waste the gift of their immortality on petty schemings and fleshly gain. We will have little problem making this city our own. First... Report 3. It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the Cainites, a Nosferatu I believe they are called. He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. I have begun to follow this so-called spy, a small amusing respite from my usual duties. And the last entry. Report 4. I have drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the Prince, who has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. I know very little about this individual, but they seem much more resourceful than most Cainites I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event that our paths cross, because an altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state the Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. We will find little resistance if we come in force. Okay. So this guy's spoiling for a fight. Um, maybe I should check what weapons I've got. Damage potential is still. The knife is better. So let's use the knife. Okay. Hello. Greetings. Wow, you can leap. Oh, you're an agent. Oh. Gotta be faster than that, buddy. Oh, fuck me. Come back here. Oh, fuck me. Come down in, damn it. There we go. There we go. You're not too tough. Come back. Oh, fuck me. Stop firing these flaming arrows at me. Bolts or whatever they are. Stand and fight me like a man. Yeah, you reload. Aha! Uh -huh. I have you now. I'll fuck you. I've got an arrow sticking out. Two arrows sticking out of me. Well, that's not good. They'll disappear. A weapon of some sort. Shin Gantu. This is a mass produced version of the traditional Japanese katana. Not as effective as a real one, but quite dangerous nevertheless. I'll have that, thank you very much. Cool. The arrows disappear. Oh, yep, there they go. Don't think there was anything else in here. Well, the guy could leap, that's for sure.
Okay, so I guess I'll go talk to Nox. Back off. Does anyone smoke anymore? Yo, girl, you do that thing yet? The life eater has enjoyed his last meal. And you should make this just for you now. Right on, girl, yeah! Hey, I'm sorry again for what happened before. I still haven't heard anything from Bertram, but. No, I'll let him know about how good you did and about how you were cool about everything. And, and, yeah, oh man. The life eater was a thing of death and shadows. Bertram said it's like a vampire, but different. You know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them are coming to California for some reason, I don't know. Fare they well. Tragedy. Okay. Let's go back home to my apartment. Drop some things off. have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the when monster right. have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They the speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered Croy. family of sea creatures. Several it's come to our attention that a sample of werewolf tonight. blood. Police suspect the slayings were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. They suspect this may be the work of vampires and... Hey... Have you seen any vampires around here? A what? massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, um, Rhode okay. Island. Yes, has sorry, I was listening to the uh, police report. Found uh, by a police jogger report. News report. On Tuesday morning, who says he smelled it a mile away. Think about vampires. Um, anyway, yes, it's come to octopus. our attention that a sample, of werewolf, that a sample of werewolf blood has made it into the hands of local tabloid. Never seen anything that like they have sent it on to the clinic in Santa Monica for testing. Speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered. The responsible party has been dealt with. In other news, in I can assure you. Victim of the Southland. For obvious reasons, we can't have anyone testing the blood. Where the body was Please found retrieve tonight. the blood sample from the clinic and leave it in your mailbox. Those of in you will be and compensated Beach. accordingly. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as ripped, torn, bloody entrails, hmm. smeared upon the walls, splatter on broken windows, feet. Okay. Okay, I can do that. And I've also got to uh, find this other apartment. Maid Marion. I think she lives in weird places. Mer I think she lives in 507. In fact, it looks like that key opens the door. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Hmm. Okay, looks like he's left town. Going downtown. Skyline Apartments 2A. 
Okay. Well, I guess I have to tell um, Patrick. I'll get some money for that. Money's always good. So I'll do that, then I'll go to the clinic. Get this wheel of blood. Lovely evening. It is. It's not raining for once. This rain is the pungent sewage of hell seeping into the cracks of this beautiful... Hey there, hot stuff. I have some dirt on Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? The dirty one has just deserted the lady. All right then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. Thank me in pictures of the presidents. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. I'm no longer here. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. Your Nick is as red as the vicious, luscious liquid. Farewell. Butchered that line. Gaze upon me and okay, let's go to the clinic. The contempt of your sin. Okay. I wonder where it would be in the uh, clinic. Blood bank? No. If they were going to test it. I don't know. I guess I'll just start at the front and work my way back. area but you never know if you don't look Did I? Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Actually, oh, 
exciting experience. Hmm. Actually, I might put a point in another point into obfuscate. Three points. Maybe you should put it into melee. Stealth, intimidation. Hmm. Investigation. Security, maybe security. That only really increases lock picking. Mm. She might go with combat defense. Roll. Dr. Buzzman, the operator. Dr. Buzzman, the operator. Yeah, a bit of dexterity makes it all easy. Can I talk to you? Need a fix? Hmm. I am no longer here. Okay, well that didn't help. this place. We shouldn't be here. Maintenance. Oh, hello. CIS. Okay, that worked. <laughs> camera on, camera two. Controlled substances camera disabled. For security purposes, all other cameras have been automatically been enabled. Controlled Hello. Troll substances. <laughs> Ten. How the hell am I going to get in there? Blood soon. <laughs> ah, 
हाँ Console. CS door, CS cabinet. CS control substances. Yeah, controlled substances door. Unlock. CS cabinet. Control services camera enabled for your security. Okay, so I'm gonna have to disable the camera. Okay, can I get up there? Oops. Come on, let me out. Let me up, let me up. Bloody hell. Dr. Okay, that camera's off. This one's on. This area is for hospital staff only. Ah. I am a key ring. Feed me. Then you can't see me. You can let yourself out. Much thanks. How do you even see me? <coughs> Don't follow me. Finally. Okay, that camera's still going. Where was that security office? There. Camera. Camera one. Okay. Fuck me. Go away! At least you can't see me anymore. Keep moving. Better be in here after this effort. Nothing there. 
Okay. Okay, I got it. Is there anything else up here? Where's the other room? The other room with the camera. Prescription storage. Okay, let's have a look in there. This one. And we'll have to wait for this guard to move away. He's going to come this way, isn't he? Of course he is. Drug box. Cool. Yeah, if I can sell that extra trip. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I need some blood. Badly. Hmm. Okay, let's go see Trip. I'm going to see if I can sell this stuff to him. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Alright, here's what we got today. Okay, now I've got a better weapon. I might get rid of this knife. Hmm. Can't sell that. Okay. Let's put the werewolf blood in my mailbox, which is what Prince wants me to do. Okay. Well, I'm going to head up to my room and I'm going to call it a night. Word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on the story as it breaks. Several dead in a beach house in Santa Monica tonight. Police suspect the slayings were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. They suspect this may be the work of vampires and... Hey, have you seen any vampires around here? Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car That's crashed what the into the gated about. Um, Okay, well I'm going to leave it there for now. Join me next time. And yeah, I need to find some blood and then I'll head on over to this Ocean House hotel, I think it was. Anyway, hope you join me then.